got the old girl out of here. Actually in pretty good shape. Only problem was the guy put it in really well. Look at all that goop, man. That thing did not want to come out. And this is typical 60s Ford application, you know, Mustangs, Galaxies, all those use this kind of drop in tank. And you know, back in the day, not a problem for a street car. Still a good tank for a street car. Yeah, you know, lap belts were fine. No headrests were fine. Right. You know, back in the day, it was all sure. good. <laughs> but we're going to push this thing. We're going to go left hard. We're going to go right hard. We're going to go forward hard. And, and we're going to be in some dangerous situations. Yes. Racing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is switch over to a fuel cell. And the big difference with a fuel cell is it has a bladder. And so if you get a side impact or any kind of impact, in the old days, it would just shear the metal pour gas everywhere, catch on fire, not a, not a fun situation. Well, think about where that tank is. It's right in the back where you can either spin out, <laughs> crash into a wall, get hit from behind. Not the safest place to put a fuel tank. So <laughs> really good way to upgrade your safety. And we're going to talk about some of the performance. Great for packaging though. So if you look inside, there's this cell foam and this is going to basically baffle the gas, keep it from going back and forth. It's a nice, easy, light way to do it. Yeah, and it's stuffed completely in there, so it's mm -hmm. slowing down that slosh. There's also a lot of ways you can do baffling within tanks like this as well. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the cap, it's got a cool little splash feature. Obviously, here's your vent, and you've got your power coming in for your, uh, for your pump. Yeah, and this is a check ball in here too, so if you roll over, imagine that. Mm -hmm. You know, that splash guard seals this off, and the vent seals this off. Now, I'll show you where the pump resides here. Check out this little box. Here's the pump, it goes down inside, and this is gonna keep fuel inside. Now, they have a really cool feature on this. If you flip it left, you see this little check ball in there? It's a little nylon ball, so if you, you turn it left, it's letting gas into the box where the pump is. You, you turn it right, it locks it off and keeps the fuel from going out. Yeah, now this whole assembly is gonna drop straight down in here through this big opening. Mm -hmm right where the fuel is. Yeah, it's great. Now, speaking of having fuel at the pump, this is a uh, Stealth from Aeromotive. This is a 340 liter per hour pump. It's a huge amount of flow for this tiny little guy. Now, we're gonna put it inside the fuel tank, mm -hmm. in the cell, something that you're normally not gonna do. You're gonna have a pickup tube and you're gonna feed to some pump, whether it's a mechanical way on the other end or maybe an electric pump on the rail, getting it in the fuel cell it's really, really important, especially as you're drawing that much fuel. You know, as all manufacturers, hot rod guys, racing, everybody has gone to the in-tank pump. Yeah, and the reasons are you're pulling a vacuum to get that fuel out of the tank, out of the pickup, and to the pump. From there, it's not a problem. You're pushing, you're building a lot of pressure to go forward. That part's okay. It's pulling that vacuum. Well, you're lowering the pressure, you're lowering, you know, atmosphere or whatever, and you're lowering the boiling point. So you're going to cavitate and you're going to vaporize a whole lot sooner. Not good. Yeah. Also on return <laughs> style fuel systems, you're sending a lot of fuel to the front ready for a wide open throttle. Well, when you're not, you're sending a lot of that back. Well, it's getting warmed up. So your fuel is building heat over time. It's getting heat off the pavement. So you're getting closer to that boiling point from the other direction. So cavitation is a real easy thing to do. You hear a lot of guys complaining like, oh, my pump overheated and it stopped. But yeah. after a while, it cooled down and kept pumping. Well, you're probably cavitating. You're not cooling your pump. You're seizing it up. Bad deal. Sure. Not good. Yeah. Or your filter's clogged. Not good either. What else is nice? All that buzzing noise. It's in the tank. <laughs> yeah. Remember the old days? <laughs> yeah. Not good. It also keeps it nice and cool. So it's the best place to put your pump. This is going to be a great setup. So 